Hi there, good people. What's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's 10.45 here in Dhaka. I have done three videos already. I was going to upload them, but then I decided to do one more video. And uh, this is going to be a, not morning thoughts. It's just general discussion of fragrances. Uh, some of the questions, some of the comments that I see and some of the remarks people make. I pick them up, you know, I notice and I don't uh, mean to say I get offended or I get uh, upset. Sometimes I feel a little bit uh, upset, uh, not because my feelings are hurt, but how people are you know sometimes perceive they're perceiving the whole fragrance game so i'm just gonna give you my two cents a little bit on how to watch it's gonna sound ridiculous how to watch reviews uh, but no how to actually go about fragrance you know uh, purchase or what you're gonna buy if you should buy if you should get into fragrance game general discussion you know uh, because i assume a lot of new people coming into the game and they feel oh there's a huge hype going on there's a group and there are a lot of groups in fragrance community uh, in YouTube, Facebook, uh, people are buying a lot of perfumes. They get very curious why people are buying these fragrances. And I will start from one point, then I'll go in a few other points. And these are just my personal opinion. Always remember that a person can never be absolutely correct. Everybody's opinion matters. At the same time, everybody, everybody's opinion is just an opinion. It's just a thought, okay? You can take it however you like it. You can take it very seriously if you trust someone, respect someone, if you really like their work. And you can be a diehard fan, you can take the word for life. But most part, I would say, you see a review, okay? You see a review, it's a good uh, thing to watch reviews. So you can learn like one person perspective. Let's say he's living in Bangladesh like me. So hot and humid country, one perspective. If you live in, say, Ukraine, uh, Russia, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to say it next to each other. But, you know, if you live in a colder country, basically, like say, UK usually tend to be a cool country, right? most of the time or Germany anywhere the fragrance gonna be like reviewers perspective gonna be different because he's gonna get much better performance much better longevity projection and compliments because the culture is different There's a lot of things involved so my uh, two cents in this is the whole fragrance community and reviewing everything is a learning curve nobody is an absolute PhD degree holder here even Mark said you know the fragrance guru he said his channel is called Robes 08 Robes 08 Please check out his channel if you never did. You're missing out on great content. He's the he's the man who gave us the fragrance community. He himself said most of the reviewers were talking about notes and uh, what they're getting, and then you know these things they are not accurate because you cannot possibly know about perfume and notes if you never know about how to make perfumes. You know, like the notes when they work in the lab. So the development, you know, the ingredients you have to know. You have to take a degree, learn perfume. I don't know what's the term perfumology or perfume making industry then only you can know as a chemist you know so how the perfume uh, because the thing is if you say the fragrance has strawberry there's high likely there's no strawberry realistic strawberry in a perfume but they use aroma chemicals or components to make it smell like a realistic strawberry but there are essential oils in the other side like let's say rose you can extract rose oil and then make that thing you know dilute in alcohol and other ingredients to make it sound, smell like a realistic rose perfume which can last project you know like Taif rose a bulgarian rose there are many other roses so now um, i actually tell you first thing is everything is learning it's not about just buying okay uh, there are other products you can watch thousands of reviews it doesn't hurt you it just takes your time but you don't spend money on it because you just want to learn say you're learning about watches you're learning about mobile phones uh, cars performance cars supercars or uh, you know like hybrid i watch a lot of stuff i watch food reviews this and that i want to learn i watch travel uh, uh like food vlogging uh, the wildlife exotic life i'm just giving you an example why because i cannot possibly travel to every country okay i cannot possibly buy all the watches or the car or the mobile phones but it's a pleasure learning about oh this product exists you know like uh, learning about a rolex perhaps i cannot afford it perhaps i can in future you never know what god gives you but what i realize there's no harm in learning same thing as perfumes okay uh, i'm saying this uh, from my own realization so if you watch perfume reviews it's not uh, something you if you really think no reviewers is pushing you to buy anything or forcing you like blackmailing you hey if you don't buy that fragrance tomorrow you're gonna get sued right it's about your interest, how does a hobby work? Hobby is what is a hobby? Hobby is interest. Hobby is something you do not uh, like work for. Hobby is something that you cultivate or hold for your own pleasure, something that gives you relaxation, happiness, right? 
so if you let's say collect stamps coins you know you have different things let's say you collect i don't know cars uh, so it's an expensive hobby but you know the thing is like you're not doing business with your hobby right some people they do they engage in their work as their hobby let's say you are uh, into agro farm like agro business you like cows livestock and you get into the business because you enjoy what you do okay and it becomes more incentive for you to work that much harder i work with perfumes 24 7 in a way i don't have a brand or anything but i actually sort of became a youtube reviewer and i do work uh, in this line right so i found it as a passion and work at the same time but is the same story with everybody no some people are just consumers some people are just uh, just enjoying the fragrance game buying and using they don't care for the notes they don't care for compliments they just like they have the money they buy it okay there's some people who are sellers they have shop online they have a real shop like a live shop so they are selling so their motive is to sell and make business and make money let's say i have a decan page that's like it's selling the decan sample so it can sort of like uh, give me some finance to uh, help my youtube channel so it's kind of like a cycle right some people they are just like uh, reviewers they buy perfumes to review break down the notes for you and it's their passion they don't do they do not do it for money they don't earn anything from youtube they're still doing it because it relaxes them this is their line of work so you see there are a lot of things here involved it's not just a perfume bottle that you bought and you just spend the money you got the product you know there are many other things if you want to learn you can learn like in different times let's say when you got a fragrance it was initially uh, not the fragrance that you like a lot my example would be in my humble opinion it's hindu kush by mancera when i bought this first time i did not like this at all you know i'm like what's so special about this you know it's like medicinal it's not even that pleasant in a sense that it's a oh man it's sorry <laughs> i don't know how it got residue inside that's not good if you have that you know be careful sometimes they spray inside and then you know you see sorry about that it's just sharing experiences yeah so i think i sprayed it by mistake and then it sort of like uh yeah now okay i think safe so when i had it you know i did not like i sold off many of my perfumes in early part of my journey i did not know better you know i learned over time and i still am learning every day this is our life i bought this again you know last year or early this year for a reason you know with time i began to understand the concept of a fragrance and i realized you have to be patient with fragrances you know if you are a fast runner you always are constantly in the go you buy a fragrance you don't like with one spray you sell it next day big mistake do not do that unless you really need the cash and you really get bored of your fragrances quickly and you just want to buy every day new fragrances that's a different story in bangladesh i have seen many kids buying a fragrance three sprays missing selling it for half the price who lost the money you did so now the point i was trying to get to uh, recently i'll give you an example i reviewed a fragrance called shogun from the house of i think this is not the Shogun fragrance, but Luxodor perfumes. So Shogun basically is the blue bottle. It's supposedly a good alternative to Bleu de Chanel, which was Arm of Shades Blue also had Bleu de Chanel clone. But most of these clones are very, very cheap compared to the Chanel. Of course, Chanel is a top class designer brand. So I don't, I didn't think I had to explain this, but sometimes you really have to break it down. <laughs> so uh, people do not misunderstand. And it says corporate social responsibility, you know, so csr corporate social responsibility big word uh, big term uh, but i did explain it when i talk about clones few days back and i'm gonna say it again when you buy a clone how do you look at it how do you buy it and what i mean by it like uh, the process okay when you bought the fragrance did you think about the fragrance gonna be the same quality ingredients uh, the same smell same uh, the natural smell that you get from blood blood is of course not natural but the premium vibe do you realize that you are if you think that way what you're thinking is i'm gonna buy i'm gonna pay 20 dollars i'm gonna get a fragrance that's equal value equal smell equal performance everything same which actually costs like blood costs 150 dollars now right edt 100 ml expensive so 20 dollars versus 150 dollars if people were like getting everything for so cheap and what are the other people doing if people are buying chanel let's say chanel and they're not buying the Luxodor. They know what they're going to get into. They're spending more money to get that Chanel product. The bottle, the premium vibe, the brand. And uh, they know what they're getting into. But you did not have the $150 to buy Blood of Chanel. So you bought Luxodor. So if your expectation exceeds what you really, you know, like, like anticipated, good for you. But if it feels like, oh, it's not long-lasting, it's not uh, most natural, 
uh, you are the one who have to take the responsibility. This is the truth. You know, reviewers can give you their opinion. Different countries, many other people appreciate. Perhaps you don't understand the game as much because you're new in the game. More and more fragrances you buy, we have bought hundreds of perfumes. Do you know why? Because it's, it's an ongoing interest. Nothing is a complete fragrance. One fragrance will not cover everything for you. One will smell different from other. Apple versus orange versus watermelon. You, more and more you try, you see how much money someone invested, you realize that people invested in the game and they keep going. You know, they know sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. So you have to take that responsibility and the expectation has to be realistic. Not everything is going to be a success, you know, especially when you do not uh, test a fragrance and then you buy blind buy in a rush out of the hype and you said hype is real, hype is not real. Um, nobody's wrong, nobody's right. You know, this is what you have to... This has to be somewhere in the, how to say, equilibrium or a point that you take the game not so seriously. Okay, this is what I'm trying to say. So fragrance game, you know, I'm, sometimes you yeah, understand, not everybody understands, same way they get upset, like $20 is a lot of money for them as a student. And they get like, yeah, even though I spent the $20, but you lied. I did not lie. I gave you my opinion. If I lied, uh, if I say that this fragrance is that masterpiece, I preferred over Bleu de Chanel, and that's my opinion. I never lied. So to me, perhaps it's a good value. To you, maybe it's not a good value. So this is fragrance game. Uh, someone will love it. Someone will hate it. Someone will not feel anything about it. They will just try something else, right? So you have to find out, like, how do you go about it? If you have a uh, problem with the budget, like, let's say you are very, very tight budget person, like you don't have that much money to spend. Do not spend like your monthly, let's say you have earned like 10,000 taka. In taka is our currency. Let's say you earn per month, say, $500. Uh, the uh, logic and you spend like $300 for perfume per month so do you have enough money to buy your other stuff do you have uh, enough money to pay your bills or expenses no in that way do not uh, get engaged in this kind of game it will be very bad for your personal life you'll feel very pressurized but if you have that spare money and you have the love for perfumes you know and you do not uh, expect so much don't hold expectation from a fragrance okay you can anticipate but the fragrance will be what the manufacturer made it's not made by you, it's not made for you. Uh, so if you can test it on your skin, perhaps, you may like it, you may not like it. You may like the opening, you may not like the dry down. A lot of things involved. So uh, when you are too quick to judge, too quick to purchase, that's your mistake, okay? I'm gonna say it's a mistake, it's a mistake, right? Uh, if you feel, oh, the review fragrance games are not worth it and I'm just getting into the game, I bought five clones, all disappointing, perhaps you should take a break and maybe look into maybe niche perfume house the oils which are going to be like more you know value or more expensive but you'll get good let's say you buy oud satin mood great quality fragrance grand soir versus something like of a paris corner fragrance you're not going to get the same quality they're going to be synthetic in the dear <laughs> clone ones you're going to be like um, perhaps alcohol opening the presentation not so posh so don't be upset if you don't get the same poshness in paris corner as much as you get a MFK fragrances. Just give you an example because MFK is going to cost you $300. Paris Corner is going to cost you 15, 20 bucks, right? So uh, it's up to you how you're going to perceive the game, right? Uh, that's about it, you know, uh, just sharing my two cents. And I tell you one thing, I'm not upset because there's nothing to be upset because I know what I'm doing in my game, my six years of ongoing work. I, everybody's just going to do a little bit higher you know like they don't have to bother about every single they don't going to they're not going to justify every single of their action i'm doing reviews many of the par people are appreciating some of the par people do not appreciate it's all good i don't take uh, heartache from it but it feels bad when people sort of feel i listen to this reviewer and then you know i'm totally disappointed and you sort of like blaming me i don't take the blame you know uh, because i'm doing my work if i get something for free my response with someone send me a fragrance let's say for free I say I got it for free, but the review is mine. It's up to you if you want to trust me or not, right? Because you're watching this for free, right? So yeah, any other reviewer, it applies. If you do not like a particular reviewer, last point, say so you don't like their face, you don't like what they do, you don't like Jeremy, you don't like Steven, you don't like Mark, you know, um, just don't watch them, okay? Uh, rather than giving comments, leaving a nasty comment or say personal attacks, you know, you don't like, you know, person i don't like everybody right so i watch the people i like you know and i don't waste my time you know hating you know so look for watch you know like positivity in life you know where you're gonna go forward you know if you learn nothing gain nothing and you just waste your time and money 
it's your waste end of the day right thank you so much for watching i'll just go upload this uh, thanks so much for being patient and those who support um, i really feel you know like your words mean a lot to me even if it's a constructive criticism you give it to me i learn from it okay so keep uh, commenting and uh, i will always be appreciative have a nice day thanks for watching love you all take care